Suddenly, the wormhole is no longer just a hypothetical way to travel faster than light. It becomes something far more profound and maybe far more dangerous, a forbidden door, a shortcut not just to another place, but to another reality. It's a plausible, mathematically supported idea for how travel between universes could happen. The dead-end case of the wormhole was suddenly wide open again, but the implications were more terrifying than anyone had ever imagined. Thinking about a tunnel to another universe forces us to face some pretty terrifying stakes. This isn't like traveling to another planet, which, while alien, would still follow the same basic laws of physics. A journey to another brain could mean stepping into a reality where the rules themselves are different. Maybe the basic constants of nature, like the strength of electricity or the mass of an electron, are just slightly off. A tiny change could mean that chemistry as we know it is impossible. Atoms might not be stable. Stars might not form. A universe like that would be instantly lethal to us. And then there's the journey itself. If a wormhole is born from the collision of two brains, that would be a cataclysmic event of unimaginable power. Traveling through that connection would mean navigating the most violent and chaotic region possible. But the most chilling thought isn't what we might find over there, it's what might find its way over here. Opening a forbidden door works both ways. If we can cross into another universe, what's to stop whatever or whoever is in that universe from crossing into ours? We would be creating a pathway between our reality and a complete unknown, with no way of knowing the consequences. It could be an invitation to forces we can't possibly comprehend, or it could just destabilize the very fabric of our own existence. The promise of the ultimate shortcut is undeniable, but it comes with the ultimate risk. This isn't just about exploration, it's about cosmic security. It's a door that, once opened, might never be closed again. The math whispers that the shortcut might exist, but maybe there's a very good reason it's called forbidden.